Now coming to the management of pruritus. Pruritus is a major problem in cholestatic diseases and as I have told before in a previous discussion module, pruritus can be multifactorial. The pruritus in cholestasis is more severe at night time, it disturbs the sleep, it is associated with, in young children it is associated with feeding difficulties and altered sleep pattern and can be resistant to the therapy. So first line therapy for pruritus in cholestatic disease is arsodeoxycholic acid, arso deoxycholic acid. In short, it is also written as arsodiol. Administration of UDCA can increase bile flow or interrupt the enterohepatic circulation of bile acids. Thus, they decrease xanthoma and ameliorate pruritus. They can also lower the serum cholesterol levels. What is the recommended dose? 15 mg per kg per day. Many patients of UDCA they also benefit because sometimes histamine or serotonin may also be involved. In some of these patients, you can go in for combining them with either antihistamines or you can use, because serotonin is also implicated, serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors can also be used. In case it is a medically refractory pruritus, you need to go in for surgery. The surgical procedures which have been described, they include partial external biliary diversion. What we do in this is, we create a stoma outside from where the biliary bile is drained to the outside. But the problem with this is, you have to create a stoma which, is, which, may, which has its own problems and may not be acceptable to many parents of the child. Then open button cholecystostomy can be done, laparoscopic PEBD has also been described and ileal exclusion has also been described. Although, although ileal exclusion, the results are inferior compared to the other condition, other uh, procedures we have mentioned. End of the day, orthotopic liver transplant will be needed in severe refractory pruritus. That will be the last step because that will take care of everything which is wrong in the liver. So this finishes our discussion of uh, neonatal cholestasis. The treatment of infantile cholestasis and older age cholestasis is virtually the same. Most of these patients who survive the neonatal period, they tend to develop features of portal hypertension and related problems. Details of portal hypertension and the management of complications like GI bleeding in them have been discussed elsewhere. There is also a module on orthotopic liver transplant which you can go through, the, through easily. So this finishes our discussion of the cholestatic syndromes important for super speciality exam.